in this video i'm going to show you how to perform granger causality test in uh, python so granger causality test is used to test uh, the causality of one time series variable on the other uh, time series variable i will take an example to show you uh, if you're not familiar with the granger causality then you can watch uh, my video on theory of uh, Ranger causality. I'll I'll give the link to that video in the description section, so you can watch that first to understand what is Granger causality. So it's used in time series analysis, uh, specifically in uh, in multivariate time series analysis, wherein we like to understand whether one time series analysis helps in predicting um, another time series. Uh, sorry, one time series data helps uh, predicting another time series data. So. That's something uh, in 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 a pretty um, high level we can we can say that. But you know to understand the details of it, you have to obviously uh, go through uh, that video, and I'll give the link there. Okay, so uh, quickly I'll touch upon what it is. Okay, so I'll just okay. So the, let's say there is a variable called time series variable x one, and there is x two one. We would like to know if the lags of uh, one of these time series variable helps uh, predicting the Future value of the other time series variable. Okay, so uh, so let's say um, we want to predict x1, the future values of x1, which is a time series vari uh, variable, and we like to know if the past values of x2 uh, are of any help, right? So, so Granger causality test will find out uh, whether x2 Granger causes x1. If it does Granger cause, then we can take uh, help of the past values of x2. To predict uh, x1 otherwise we cannot okay so there's no point well granger the word granger has come from the econometrician who actually invented this uh, but it's it's nothing but just understanding the causality of two variables right uh, so his name was granger some granger hence the granger causality it's but it's it's more or less understanding causality between two uh, time series variables Okay, so how do we then perform? So we'll take an example. Um, I will import um, stats model where we'll take uh, a data set uh, which has got two time series variables. And then uh, from stats model again, from TSA, you have uh, a time series package there in stats model. You import the Granger causality test. Uh, and there, using that, you can perform the Granger causality test. And then I'll just import NumPy and uh, Matplotly for doing some sort of, uh, uh, yeah, some sort of basic exploratory analysis. Uh, for example, you know, uh, plotting the time series data using Matplotly. So that's common thing, right? We do as part of time series analysis. Okay, so first uh, we'll store the data. Uh, so here is this data and we get it from SM. That means the stats model. Uh, API. So we get, we, it's got so many data sets. So we just got it. It's a macro data. So um, now we run this. Uh, here is how it looks like. Okay. So this is basically the change in, in the real GDP and the real uh, consumer demand. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And we'd like to know if one causes the other. If change in the consumer demand has a change, impact on the change in the real GDP. Right. So both in real terms, that's why it starts with real. And this 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 uh, particular uh, you know function cannot handle uh, NA values. Uh, so make sure that you drop all these things and we have done that here. Okay, now here you see, now we plot it just to see whether there is some sort of a pattern. So always good to have a look first, right? Uh, having a visualization of the data uh, helps a lot. And that's what we've done here. So we are plotting the GDP and the change in the GDP and change in the uh, real consumer demand. And you see that there is some level of correlation, but we cannot establish the causality yet without performing the Granger causality test. And as you can see, there is an overlap, right? There is an overlap between these two uh, macroeconomic variables. Um, however, it is not sure whether one causes the other. So here the idea is to see whether um, a change in the real consumer demand uh, grants causes uh, change in the real GDP. Now this procedure, right? Uh, this particular um, 
so sorry this this um the statistic the granger causality test uh what it takes is that it takes a data set that has got two columns so you need to provide data set that has two two columns and it will find it for you whether the second column causes the first one so make sure that these two columns um have got the time series data set and here we have the real change in the real gdp and change the real uh, consumer demand okay just to understand a bit more about this uh, syntax for the granger causality test so this is the this is what you use and then we provide the data just now i saw show you that you know we just got two variables one is uh, change in the real gdp and change in the uh, consumer demand right and we'll see if the real change in the consumer de uh, demand granger causes change in the uh, real gdp so that's the first uh, argument and then the second argument is about to uh, how many lakhs you want to uh, check this um ideally is just one or two lakhs but you can go up to four okay uh, and then uh, whether to have a constant or not in the model just, just give it true it's by default is also true and then um, if you want to print the results just make sure that this is also true verbos is also true okay and then when we run this you will get um, something is wrong um okay i think we haven't yet run it okay so let's run this up steps and then we will run it perfect all right so what you get here is that okay now one thing to note here is that the null hypothesis here is that the um uh, the column 2 of this data set does not granges causes uh, does not granger cause the column 1 um and this example here is that the change in the real consumer demand does not cause change in the um, real gdp so that's the null hypothesis right and the alternative hypothesis is is nothing but you know the null hypothesis is wrong right so that's what uh, that's how we we do hypothesis testing and here you see the p values for example for the lag 1 the p value is 0 lag 2 also the p values are all zeros even up to lag 4 uh, p value is 0 so at 95% confidence level if the p value is less than 0 0.05 0 0.05 then you reject the null hypothesis right and here you see that the p value is zero which is less than 0 0.05 so at 95 percent confidence level we reject the null hypothesis um, so we accept the fact that uh, the second column of this data which is the change in the real consumer demand granger cause the granger causes the change in the real gdp right so that's how we interpret it but to understand the details of how you actually uh, and why you would need to do that uh, you have to uh, you know go to the video in the description where you will get to understand the theory behind granger causality it's pretty useful in multivariate time series analysis as i said in the uh, beginning